Hello guys, in this video we will see how to get started with variables in scratch. So before we start we can go on to choose a sprite for today which could be something under sports and we can choose a beach ball and I'm gonna go to choose one more person and it could be the player. So for the backdrop since it's beach ball I'll choose a beach so that it looks relevant. Now before we start what is a variable? So a variable is like a storage container. To store values. Now in Scratch there is this orange block called variables. Here we can actually create a variable. So if you click on make a variable button here there will be a pop-up window opened and you can give a name to your variable. So it could be anything A, B, C, any names and I'm going to give a smooth as a variable name and I'm going to choose for all sprites as a default and click OK. Now we have actually successfully created a variable called who. Now what are we going to do with the variable? Here in this game we are actually going to keep track of how many times the ball was moved. So whenever the player is kicking the ball, how many times it moved and we are going to store the numbering here in who. We will see how to get started. So I am going to go to when green flag is clicked and I am going to make a small condition which is if the ball is being touched by Jordan. So actually before we start I'm gonna code for the ball and not for Jordan. So I'm gonna go to events again and pick for the condition which is if block and if the ball is being touched by Jordan or not. So if the ball is being touched we're going to make the ball move actually to a point maybe like 30 steps and I'm gonna increase a score so I'm gonna take a change move block by one from variable and put it here so when the green flag is clicked I'm gonna keep here maybe I can delete the blocks for this as of now and I'm gonna click and the ball moves but then it has to be a continuous motion so I'm gonna go to control and put it inside of our block and check if this works so I'm gonna keep here and the ball oh yes this is fine but I'm gonna stop it and whenever we start again if you notice the value kept on continuing and it did not start from zero so that is important so we're gonna go to variables and there is this block called set the variable to value zero when the game started so you have to put it outside the forever loop for this and now this will work so we'll see if this is working so I'm gonna stop and click on the green flag so that it starts from zero and the ball is smooth so at some point in time the ball is being touched by Jordan forever and if you could see the score is increasing continuously this is because it's actually in a forever loop so to slow down maybe we can go to control and add a wait block so that the value only increases with for one second so if at all we move here and start off now if I touch the score is gonna increase like this so I'm gonna stop and start from the beginning to check whether this works yes so Jordan kicked the ball for four times and now it's the fifth one so this is how it keeps track of how many times the ball is being kicked and this is how the variable move stores the value so you can always add in your thoughts to it and you have learned about variable today and see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.